Hello everybody, Antoine here for Sim Architecture and welcome back to a new video. So today, before I start talking about this house, I have to tell you something more important. Because as I was finishing this house, something incredible happened. And you probably already noticed it as you clicked on this video. We are actually now more than 10,000. I never thought in my life I would say that I have 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Oh, well, to be honest, a few months ago, I wouldn't even think about having a YouTube channel. So this is actually really crazy. And the only thing I have to tell you is thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your feedback, for your comments, just for being part of this. And I'm really thankful. And I know that some people told me in the comments that I'm not really enthusiastic sounding, but you have to believe me when I tell you that I'm really happy and I'm really him because it is fantastic like you know if you compare it to other accounts of the channels like 10,000 probably means nothing for a lot of people but for me it means everything and if you compare it to small city like small city there are a lot of small cities with 10,000 inhabitants and it's already big and you know thinking about 10,000 people watching my videos, uh, following me on YouTube, and it just sounds crazy for me, so thank you once more. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say, actually. I'm just thankful. This is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, actually, YouTube is such, you know, there's some bad sides, but it's nothing compared to all the good sides of YouTube. I met incredible people, I discovered incredible creators, and this is all what I like about YouTube, sharing your passion, meeting people that have the same passion, and yeah, it's something that is really enjoyable, and if there's some of you is dating of creating a YouTube channel, I mean, just do not as they just launch your channel, just, just don't care about the editing or things that could scare you it will come through the time and I'm not saying that my that my editing is perfect or anything but I'm just saying that you will improve and most of the people won't judge you and you don't have to focus on the negative negative sorry uh, comments because I know it's sometimes it's hard to get um, to get away or to get distance from the haters but to be honest they're not a majority a majority of people will enjoy your videos and it's only what matters and that's why I learned uh, here on YouTube during my experience on this platform just focus on the people who are enjoying your content and I know a lot of you are enjoying what I'm doing and it's really warming my heart so thank you I think now I can tell you more about this house and Probably a lot of you already saw it on Twitter, Not um, you didn't see the facade of the house but you see the floor plan because I was actually struggling doing it. There are so many rooms in this house. It is located on a 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg. Um, there are actually two 64 by 64 in Windenburg so it's not the one on the island, it's the other one. And I didn't have anything precise in mind and but I wanted to big to build a big house and I was thinking about another video I created a few months ago which was the sorority house from the TV show Scream Queens which is probably one of my very speed builds because uh, I was really happy with this house and I was thinking why not creating a fraternity house because it's something I didn't do so I decided to go on Pinterest to find some inspiration as always and I found a wonderful looking uh, fraternity house which was located, I don't remember exactly what state in the US but it was actually uh, on the east coast like New England or something, I, well New England is not even a state, um, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, is it a state? No, I don't think it's a state. Um, it was probably New Hampshire or something. But anyway, it's not the most important. So it is quite European looking, but at the same time, you know that it's American because it is inspired by European architecture, but 
doesn't really look like European architecture and actually that's what I like about such houses and it's a huge uh, it's, it's a huge estate there are a lot of things to do and I wanted this place to be a mix of you know serious place with a big study room and a mix of funny place with a lot to do a swimming pool a pool house and basement we'll see a bit later i'm so happy with a basement um so it's a big house there's a lot of things to explore and even if you're not into fraternity i think you can turn it into a big family house there are seven bathrooms and nine bedrooms and actually there are more than 14 or 15 beds in the room uh, no, in the house, sorry, not in the room, yeah. It would be crazy to have 15 bed in one rooms. Um, anyway, um, I didn't have anything in mind. Um, I mean, I created the exterior, but then I had no inspiration for the interior. It was really my imagination, and I think it turned out pretty well. There are a lot of room. On the first floor, there is a living room, um, kind of a greenhouse, um, two dining rooms, a big kitchen, a study room, as I told you, um, some big corridors with some uh, plates like baby food. I don't know how you say it in English, but in French we call it baby food. You probably know what I'm talking about. It's like table football um, I, I don't really know anyway um, but the part I had the most fun with the most fun with yeah sorry uh, was the exterior the, the landscaping really took me a lot of time but I'm so happy with how it looks and what I like is that there are a lot of path that goes around the house that goes to the gazebo to the pool house to all around the house and what I decided to create and something I really like also in this house is that on each exit there are actually four way of coming in or coming out in this house um, there is like a small terrace surrounded by hedges and it looks pretty classy I think so um, yeah the landscaping was really a fun part of it uh, I put a lot of greeneries just to make it looks really um, lush and I think it looks pretty nice but you will tell me in the comment if it looks nice but to be honest I think it is one of my best landscaping ever in all my videos um, the other one that was really good I think was the British Manor I don't know if you remember but I built a British Manor in two parts there are two video and the camping really took me a lot of time and I was so happy with the way it turned out, just like this one. So, um, yeah, as I told you, there's a gazebo with uh, the new roof option, which is uh, transparency, you know. Um, also, the pool house, the pool house is really cool, I believe. I can imagine some parties um, in this pool house. It's pretty cool. There's Fire, big fireplace, some sofas. Um, I think it's a really nice place to spend uh, the night. And also all around the house there are some areas where you can sit. There are sofas, there are armchairs. Um, I was thinking there are a lot of people living here, so they need space. Even if they're all living together, sometimes they probably need to be alone or just with a few other people, but not everyone so that was the idea of creating some small areas where everyone can have a rest and it's actually pretty much the same thing in the house itself there are a lot of sitting areas all around the house and there's some rooms that i didn't really know what to do with so I decided to turn them into small living rooms or sitting areas the second floor is actually pretty simple and to be honest you won't see much of it uh, in the speed bill itself. You will see it more in the screenshots. But um, the video was really long. Like I have, I had sorry about four hours of footage, which is probably way too much. Uh, well, definitely way too much uh, because once it was sped up, um, they 
video was about 30 minutes long, which is, I think, too much also. So I decided only to show you one bedroom being built uh, in the split build. And actually there's nothing too crazy about the second floor. There's only uh, bedrooms and bathrooms. So just classic things. They're not a special um, room or anything. You will see that the style of this house is pretty classical, but this is what I wanted. Like, um, you know, I wanted a whole house probably that was not meant to be a fraternity. I imagine that it belonged to an old industrial family that went um, to bankruptcy and it was finally bought by a rich man who wanted to found a fraternity. Um, you know, I already told you in a video that I love um, imagining the story of the house that I'm building and it's, it's exactly what I did with this one. And yeah, so this house was actually a big family house and then it was turned into a fraternity, but the house itself really stayed as it was and, you know, all the walls, the, um, the floor, they're all the same uh, just before, just like before, and now um, there are some students in it, but the house stays classical. So the only, um, I don't know, fantasy of this house would be like the posters that the guys living here are putting on the walls, but except this is really classical. And yeah, but there is a more, sorry, there is a more important, um, no, not important, interesting. There is a more interesting part in this house, which is the basement. Um, you know, I was thinking something was missing in this house, even if, it's, if it was already worth more than 6,000, uh, 600,000 um, small ends, I was thinking something was missing and I was thinking about it and I remember in a lot of uh, TV shows or movies, there is a basement with really um, a chilling area, something really cool. So I decided to build this. I think it really fits uh, the atmosphere of fraternity where they both work and chill together, you know. So I decided to create this basement, which is actually made of three rooms. There is the main room with big TV screen, libraries, sofas, um, it's like a living room, you know, with a lot of decoration, a lot of neon light, um, some uh, cool lights. It's really a place where I could uh, spend my a night, you know, it's really, it's really warm, really welcoming, I think. Just next to this, there's another room, which is the bar area, actually, because what would be a fraternity without alcohol, you know? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not meaning that fraternity is like American Pie or anything, no. But, you know, in the American movies, that's what you can see. So there's a bar area. And by the way, there's also a bar area outside just next to the pool. And uh, in this basement, there's a third room, which is the sport room, the gym. Um, because also I was imagining that some of the people living here um, as a student were also involved in the... Uh, American football team of their university or something like this, so they needed a place to to train when they were at home. So definitely this house is meant for really rich people and I think if you want to be part of a fraternity you have to be rich. Well actually if you're American and you want to study you have to be rich or to have a, um, a credit, I think. Um, it's really terrible, actually. Uh, I hear about, I hear a lot about it um, on the internet, in the medias. Um, a lot of articles talk about, um, deal with the, um, the fact that studies are so expensive in the US. And if some Americans are watching my video, just tell me in the comments how it really is. Um, but I think it's such a pity because really talented people don't have the money to study and it's such a waste I think. Here in France, um, you know, education is free and in Europe in general, university is free as well. 
unless you decide to go to a private school but actually if I take my example I always went to a public school which is free uh, I went to public elementary school I went to public college uh, to public university and it's really high quality uh, education so paying doesn't mean that you will have something better and I think this is one of the greatest problem that have America or the US yeah the US um, this is I don't know if it's a problem or not because I'm not American and I only know the free education that we have here in France but um, I think I'm still convinced that um, you don't have to pay for an education education is actually an investment uh, by the state the state um, invest in the new generation that will be the new um, the new, uh, yeah, the new generation that will um, change the country or put it forward. I uh, don't really know how to express, but you've probably got my idea. So it's just a question of, you know, how you see the creation. But I don't want to get too political because I know it's a big subject. Anyway, this house, whether you use it as a fraternity house or as a family house, is meant for rich people but i think you're used to it because um i only built houses for rich people but i mean this is the sims uh, this is meant for this like building building poor houses wouldn't be even interesting because this is the purpose of, of the game is doing another is creating another word a better word but if I remember, the only thing on uh, this mind, in this state of mind that I built, if you remember, it was a collaboration with Sim King Build. Um, we did a poor versus rich uh, house collab, and I built the poor side of the house. And it, it, it was not even poor, it was rather more like a slum. And <laughs> actually, it's probably the only house in this kind that I built on my channel you can watch it if you want it was really a cool collab I'm so happy about it and Sim Kim build if you're watching this video I'm just telling you hi um I think I told you pretty much everything actually I told more than I wanted to tell but anyway um so once again thank you thank you thank you for the 10k subscribers this is crazy. Um, once more, I know I probably don't sound enthusiastic, but I really am. Um, so thank you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.
Colorado shimmer, lights get dimmer. Fog is setting in the Colorado in the winter. Your body flows like liquor, breathing in your words like you're a cold blood killer. Roll the windows down. The grass is greener up on our side. Pull up to paradise. Another trip, another fight Road up, it was always inconvenient I 